Hello, I'm Dr. Yolanda Kirkham and I'm an obstetrician gynecologist. Welcome to our WEMS video on dyspareunia. Dyspareunia is a very common condition. It means pain in the genitals, and this can be before, during, or after sex. Pain can be on the outer surface of the skin of the genitals called the vulva, or it can be around the introitus or the opening to the vagina. Today, we're going to be focusing on the premenopausal causes of dyspareunia. One of the common causes of dyspareunia or painful intercourse can be vaginal dryness. Now we all have a finite amount of lubrication when we're aroused made by the vagina and the glands surrounding it. However, sometimes if you're having sex for a long time, there can be some burning or irritation from the friction. Using some water-based or silicone-based lubricant can be really helpful to make sure that it's pleasurable for yourself and your partner. Try to avoid using an oil-based lubricant because this can break down condoms if that is your form of birth control. Vaginal dryness can also be related to hormone causes. For example, if you're breastfeeding um, or you are using birth control pills on a continuous basis, some people do have changes in their vaginal tissues due to the decreased um, production of your own estrogen. Sometimes being on medications such as antihistamines and antidepressants can also make you more dry. Certainly conditions like Sjogren's syndrome can also cause that and people notice that with their eye dryness symptoms as well. Infection is a really common cause of pain with intercourse and sometimes it can be even associated with some blood. So common infections like chlamydia or gonorrhea, which are sexually transmitted, can cause pain. And not just during sex, but also even during urination. A lot of times people have some discharge as well. Also, people can have no symptoms at all. So if you're having sex with new partners, make sure you get checked, you and your partner, either through urine or vaginal swabs. Infections like herpes uh, or HPV can also affect the skin around the vagina, causing pain. Herpes is a recurring blistering infection, usually often in the same places in the genitals, but it can cause a blister and thus pain as well as itching. HPV causes warts and this can also cause some bleeding or a different feeling in your genitals when you touch. Certainly, we're really, really lucky these days to have the HPV vaccine, which can be used to prevent genital warts as well as cervical cancer. Other skin conditions can also cause painful sex, and this includes non-contagious skin conditions like lichen sclerosis. A lot of people get treated for recurrent yeast infections when in fact, it's not a yeast infection. There's no discharge, but, but sometimes people feel a compulsion to scratch, especially the areas around the vagina on the skin. If this is your case, it's really important to see a doctor because we can pick up on the skin condition by the way it looks. Oftentimes it flares on and off and it can also cause little tears. And that's why it can cause burning or irritation during or after sex. It can be easily treated with topical, which means um, on the skin, steroids. So please see your doctor. The vagina is self-cleaning. It's really important to know that that vaginal discharge that you have every day is actually normal and it's our vagina's way of cleaning itself, but also lubricating. Make sure you don't use any irritants um, or soaps or douches. In fact, think of your vagina like your eye. If you don't think you're gonna put anything in your eye because it's gonna sting, then please avoid using it in the vagina. Water is best and there's nothing that needs to go actually into the canal. Vulvodynia refers to pain in the genital area, whether touched or not. And sometimes it is difficult to treat or to find out the exact cause. It can sometimes be caused by a, a yeast infection previously, or it can be caused by pelvic floor dysfunction. And this can be also from a back injury or also hip injuries. 
Vaginismus can also be a cause of painful sex or the inability even to have sex because it is painful. Vaginismus is where there are involuntary muscle tightening of the vagina. Sometimes this can be related to some previous trauma or a bad experience, or it can be caused by other chronic pain um, or pelvic floor dysfunctions. In women who have not yet had menopause, pelvic pain and dysmenorrhea, which means painful periods, can also be the cause of painful sex. There's a condition called endometriosis um, that causes inflammation inside the abdomen and the pelvis. And so deep penetration with sex can be painful or even pain after orgasm can happen because of those contractions in the uterus that then affect the pelvis. Fibroids or large abnormal ovarian cysts can also cause more of a deeper pain with intercourse. These can be easily found out or investigated by seeing your doctor and getting a pelvic ultrasound. Sometimes the issue isn't you, but the other person. So sometimes painful sex can be because of the partner's size or girth, and sometimes positional changes can help that. It's really important to be able to communicate with your partner and talk about what works for you and what doesn't. Another cause of painful sex can be relationship related. So sometimes you may have loss of libido or loss of interest in that way, seeing a relationship counselor or sex therapist can actually be very helpful to reignite that relationship. Female sexuality is really complicated and certainly not having enough time, having stress in other parts of your life can really affect sex as well. Painful sex can also result from previous past trauma or bad experiences. If you are a victim of intimate partner violence, um, please seek help as there are lots of resources and including another video on WEMS about intimate partner violence. So I hope after hearing all of these really common causes of painful sex that you won't feel awkward talking to your doctor about these conditions. Certainly if it affects your quality of life, please mention it to your doctor. A lot of the times there doesn't have to be an invasive exam, sometimes even just with a Q-tip touching on the outside to find out where exactly the pain is. And then doing some investigations like swabs or an ultrasound can help lead to finding the causes. Then we're able to start treating specifically according to your concerns. I'm Dr. Yolanda Kirkham, gynecologist. Thank you so much for joining us on this video about premenopausal causes of painful sex.